Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the iFlight Zing 2 2207 motors. In this video I'm going to quickly go over their features and specs, bench test them using my motor's thrust stand, and after assembling the motors on this new build, head outdoors and test them out. First of all, the iFlight Zing 2 2207 motors are available in two KV options, 1855 KV which is compatible with up to 6S batteries, and 2755 kV, which is the only version that I have, which is compatible with up to 4S batteries. In terms of specs, just like the previous generation, the Zinc 2 are premium motors. The motor bell is secured using a hex screw, and after removing it, you'll be able to separate the motor bell from the stator. The diameter of the stator is 22 mm, and its height is 7.2 mm. On the top side of the hollow shaft, you can find a rubber o-ring that is going to help to reduce vibrations. The motor bell features a pretty interesting design and a grip pattern for better securing the propellers. And these interesting looking magnets, which I haven't seen before, are designed in a way that according to iFlight is going to increase the motor efficiency and power. In addition, the weight of the motor, including the full length of the 15cm long 20 gauge silicon wires is 34.3 grams, so despite its robust looking structure, it is still lighter, for example, than the T-Motor Velox 2207 motors. Now after this quick introduction, I'm going to show the thrust test and the flat footage, and in my experience, after testing these motors, I think that these motors are very smooth, however, I think that, at least for me, 2755 kV is a little bit too high, so personally, I would go with the 1855 kV motors and use them with 5S and 6S batteries, and in addition, these motors are battery killers. You can see in the thrust test that if we compare them to similar 2207 motors, these are more demanding motors. So I think that my batteries just couldn't handle them well. Now I'm going to show the thrust test, which by the way, its result can be found in the description box of this video and the flight footage. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.